Hello and welcome back to our channel where we show off another one of our wonderful chambers and how cool of products that we make. So today we have our standard 12 by 12 by 12 inch cube um, hinged front loading door acrylic vacuum chambers with some added customizations on the rear wall and we'll talk about it in just a minute. So our Standard acrylic 12-inch uh, cube chamber comes as a standard, two valves. One is for venting, the other one is for the vacuum, with a dial vacuum gauge. And this dial vacuum gauge is a dual gauge that shows in kilopascals and inches of mercury. This door comes with two clamps, one lid handle or door handle, and also two adjustable hinges so that you can adjust your door in case it ever... Um, if, in case you ever need to replace your o-ring you can replace the o-ring and then adjust your door to make sure that it is fully sealed and also fully parallel to this wall so that you can get a good seal all right let's open these clamps and let me show you inside this chamber and what we have inside so inside first we have our um, wire vacuum feed through so this is essentially, we run wires from the outside towards the inside. There is about 12 wires, and I think these are 18 gauge, I believe, or 16 gauge, I'm not really sure, I don't remember. But you can essentially run wires from the outside here, and you run them into the inside of the chamber, and then these can be connected to whatever you need to connect it to inside your chamber, uh, your test specimen, and without compromising the vacuum. So you can uh, do a full vacuum, um, you know, with, with, the, with the proper pump, you can go, you know, in the Militor range and you can have these wires connected to your unit under test. All right, the second feed through is a USB feed through. So essentially you can run your USB signal. You can connect it on the here, on the outside and you can run your USB towards the inside without ever compromising the vacuum. And the third feed-through is a threaded feed-through, meaning that this is a custom thread. And the reason that we have it this way is that we do not thread into the acrylic. Acrylic is not meant to be um, sheared and a thread and a bolt will generate shear to the acrylic and that creates crazing and um, you know stress crazing which is not good for the vacuum, also could create a potential for leaks. So the way that we mitigate this issue is that we um, anchor a, um, a metallic plate and then we thread that metallic plate so that there is no threading um, done to the acrylic. We just thread the metallic plate. And this thread is a custom thread. I believe it's like 20 millimeters by one and a half millimeter pitch. And our customer will take their vacuum feed through and they will connect it to this thread. And then they can connect their probe into this acrylic vacuum chamber and perform their test. And so, uh, as you can see, all three vacuum feed throughs are placed on the rear wall. And I'm gonna close this chamber. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of rotate it on one side. Let me show you how it looks like from this side. You have the hinges and then you have the door. And then let me show you how it looks like from the rear wall. Here we go. You have essentially this vacuum feed through wire. So you can run wires into the vacuum chamber without compromising the vacuum. And it essentially is a uh, hermetically sealed. It's fully sealed and it allows you a vacuum. Um, it, it, there is no difference between our plain vacuum chamber and adding as many uh, vacuum feed throughs as you want. You will not see much difference in vacuum. Uh, and it, it actually performs just as good. And then we have the USB feed through. And you, see, you can see you can add your uh, USB connection right here. And then we have our custom threaded feed through, which is this thread right here. So this is how it looks like from the, out, from the rear wall. And now let me turn it one more time. Rotate it this way. So you can kind of see how it looks like from here. And then once again, 
Let's bring it back to where we started, right here. Now let me open the door and kind of show you how it looks like with the door open. There we go. And the door, that's how far it opens. So this is how our wonderful chamber looks like. Okay, well, this is it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, if you guys have a need for vacuum chambers, we'll see you on our website. Bye-bye.